In this episode, we cover a video shout out player to shout out those streamers that really matter to you or you just want to highlight on your channel. This will give a shout out with custom shout out support. So if you're using that already, it's covered. You'll do their Lego on startup and then play a random clip from the channel as well. Hello and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome stream robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. Before we start, please make sure you are running Streamerbot 0.1.4 or later. There are some functionalities in here that um, will cause instability in older versions of Streamerbots, so I do not recommend you use an older version. This video is going to be released shortly after Streamerbot 0.1.4 goes live, so uh, it is going to be available in the usual spot under streamer.bot. For the video shout out, the first thing we need to do is to be able to create a scene or a, a source that you can use within a scene for the video shout out. Now I feel the best practice for this is to create a scene, like an alert scene. So we call it alerts. So this is a scene you can have within other scenes. It's good for reuse, it's good practice. Within this, we need a browser source. Uh, this is how the video shout out works. So Streamerbot will notify OBS to change the browser source um, location it needs to be to initiate the video shout out. So we're gonna call this shout out. Now URL I suggest to use about blank, which basically means it's a blank page. It's nothing showing when we're not using it. The width needs to be 800 and the height 450, which is the size of the video. And I think is matched within the web page to work around that resolution. If you want to change the size of it, resize the control afterwards. It's worthwhile noting, do not use the local file option. This will break the functionality. It needs to be um, the default. So you can see here, got a video shout out. It's gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna make it full screen here. And that's uh, the OBS part done. So once the broadcaster software is set up, we need to import the action into Streamerbot. So the action is gonna be in the video description below. If you're watching this directly from Discord, then uh, you'll find it in the Discord posting, either in Streamerbot or the Shifting Realities area. So we can right click and import as before. Now there's a guide to import um, into Streamerbot if you're not sure about that. Uh, please note you do have to have OBS or slobs connected to be able to go through this. You can see here two actions are imported. One which is just for the failed shout out. So if it's not a valid streamer, for example, or they have no shout outs. And the video shout out is the actual code itself. So you can see here, that's the failure there. And this is the video shout out itself. There's, a, there's three things we need to configure in here. The first thing is the, the browser source. And so that's the source that we, we actually made just before this section. So it's shout out like this and the shout out scene we're using an alert scene so using alerts there so that's the most of the configuration done we need to do one more step and because we're using c sharp code which is here to execute code we need to make sure that compiles now by default if we just try compile, it won't work. We need to be uh, having valid references. If we try to find references, it doesn't add any more. So there's two we need to add in here. So if we right click and add reference and file, 
It's worth our noting, this is a location it brings up, I believe by default. If not, you can go to C, Windows, Microsoft.net, Framework, etc. Whatever's down here, go to that same location. If you type in system.dll, that's gonna be the first one we want to add. And another one, system.core, C-O-R-E, dot D-L-L. Those are the two that are needed in there. Now if you click and compile, wait a moment, you can see here it's compiled successfully. So with those steps, we've configured the video shout out for the bot. Of course, now we need to add a command to trigger the action. So we add it in there. Use exclamation SO if you want just to use that as an override for your shout outs or VSO maybe. That's what I'm going to use here. And in the action, we're going to select video shout out. And the permissions, I'm going to use moderators. So we've got the command set up. We've got the action set up. And now we're ready to test. Now we're in the alert scene, ready to, to go. We could always import this alert scene into the regular scene, but I'm keeping it simple for now. And use VSO and then a streamer we want to shout out. This you can see is showing the logo. It's loading a clip here. And we can see when the videos and the clips ended, it's resorting everything back. All good to resume the stream. Now if you want to customize the HTML code within the shout out further, or if you want to rely on the uh, vrflad.com to um, pull the shout out, what we need to do is download this. Now the easiest way is actually just grab the URL from here. We'll put it in a browser. And then we can save it as, and save it into my stream stuff folder I have there. And when that's in there, we just run that. Grab this address that's now in there, so it's in my C drive. Go to streamer bot and paste that in. So we can see that's now configured. It doesn't need to go to a different site to get the player. You can customize it further if you want to. And finally, just to walk you through what uh, I've used to build up this. Um, some of the code has been uh, actually already provided by Nate uh, in the release notes when we actually had the code to get clips. But uh, this one here is just a very simple send message to the channel just to say they're not a streamer or it doesn't exist, nice and simple. The video shout out, we have two globals. Now these are persisted values here. So these are the, the source and the browser, uh, browser source and the scene that we're using. The file there, which we can customize if you want to. So they're setting globals, which the code then picks up later on. Now we're doing things that are actually exactly the same as a custom shout out. So we get the target information from the inputs. So the user that we're doing from, so it gets the Twitch, Twitch information. If that user isn't there, or if they don't actually have a game, then they're not a streamer and we should break. Otherwise, it's going to get the specific details um, for that user. And it's going to then be a uh, custom shout out. So if you have custom shout out for them, we'll grab that. Then we'll do the shout out message, include that custom shout out. So it puts the custom shout out code first here, picks out the user that we've put in place, puts their Twitch address in there, and the game they were last playing. Finally, the heavy stuff. So this is the uh, C-shop code. We can see here we're pulling in from the variable 
at global variable, the shoutout scene and shoutout browser source. So within the code here, we can refer to them as scene and source. A video player file, which is going to pull the shoutout file. So that's by default vrflad.com slash shoutout.html, but it'll be, if you change it in the actions, sub actions above, it pulls it into the script. We get the target user. So again, this is from the Twitch um, get information from user command. We then use the get clips for user built in function for the username. If it doesn't have any, then we stop processing. We say we don't have any clips to the channel on a sad face and we return false. Return false will stop the processing of C sharp further. But if we do have those, we pull it in and we order by um, you know, pull the clips in and order them. Um, we get, um, get a, a random one, so that's great. Um, we set arguments in case you want to use them later. We don't actually need these strictly, but they're there just in case you want to refer to these uh, within the actions later on. So if you want to use them somehow by, um, by extending the actions, I've left them in there for you. But this is standard code which Nate's provided. Now there's a embed URL. This part isn't actually needed. Um, the way we actually build up the uh, video file is actually based on the um, thumbnail image, which is related to the video file. Otherwise, we need to use a, a different URL, but we've left it in here um, so we can actually So we can actually um, rely on that should APIs change. I can then push a new version of the, the player to vrflad.com and people can re-download it. Um, these won't be in there in the live code, so don't worry about that. The next action will be slightly different for OBS and SOBS, but I'm not gonna record this twice. Um, but that's setting the browser source of the scene, the source and the video player file, which has been built up there. So that kicks off the video shout out We've got the delay um, for the, the, the duration of the video clip. We add another two seconds to give it time to actually load the page. Um, fortunately, the page will go to a blank state at the end. So it, it means that you're not gonna cut things off um, with a two second delay, but also you're not gonna leave a hung image on there. So it more, it keeps the queue hung up for another couple of seconds, worst case. But typically with latencies, it's gonna look quite good. We're gonna put a wait for that amount of time before we revert the scene and source back to about blank here. And that's the code finished. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media, and to Stringerbot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide Stringerbot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.